All right, started. Okay, thank you. So uh, our CAP uh, review deadline is coming up uh, very shortly. It's next Friday. Um, and we've been working hard to uh, make sure that everything is in place for that review. Um, so the first thing that we need to get in place um, is the actual CAP itself. Um, I'll start with that and then we'll go into um, the other developments that have been happening. So I, I'm going to open up uh, the CAP. Uh, Kubernetes enhancements. All right, so here, um, Jeff made a pull request recently. Uh, there it is. Uh, Srini, is is uh, is this supposed to be you? <laughs> if I change my name, yeah. <laughs> you got your name wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so so this this cap uh, currently uh, after this update uh, reflects um, the developments we've made in terms of uh, the API changes, uh, in terms of the changes to the spec, the gRPC spec, and also uh, the uh, any other technical changes that we made um, throughout the course of the last uh, two months or so after the initial cap was approved. Uh, so uh, the gRPC change for protocol is here. Um, yes, the protocol structure, just an explanation of protocol. And also we were adding parameters. Um, I don't know if Jeff is on the call. Uh, I believe he's not on the call. Um, so along with this, I believe we have to mark it as implementable, right, Shane? Right. If you want to reach alpha state, then it needs to be implementable. Okay. Right. I guess that's the yeah. goal, right? Alpha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so we will mark it as implementable and send it through a round of review. Um, so, uh, if I should this be merged before asking for API review, or is just the pull request enough? No, this can be part of the review, right? So it doesn't have to be merged. Yeah, normally it's actually it, it's a cap not merged. Mm -hmm. We got API reviewers to review it until mm -hmm. it's merged. Yeah. Understood. And and this time we'll have to, uh, so so I'm trying to understand the process. Um, uh, if I understand correctly, uh, this time uh, before the fifth, uh, we should we should inform an API. Yeah, ninth, ninth is the merge deadline, ninth, February. Ninth, okay. Okay, understood. So um, is it possible uh, for us to uh, ping an API reviewer right away? Since yeah, we have. Yeah, you can, okay. yeah. You okay. Can. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Um, um, uh, Srini uh, and, and Shrini, who should we reach out to? Or does Srini already know that? Srini? Uh, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, we have okay. to figure that out. Uh, so you can, can, there is, there is a API review and there is a, a label. Um, what is that label? Okay. We need API review or something as a label. Yeah. Um, I see. So we normally, I think a lot of our caps are reviewed by Tim. So you can mm -hmm. try him. I don't know if he has the bandwidth to review this, but I think a lot of our caps are reviewed by him. There it is. Probably... Who, who, who is that again? Tim Hawkins. So T. Tim Hawkins. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Just, just a sign, just a sign to him. If he says, oh, I don't have yeah. bandwidth, maybe then yeah. maybe he will uh, can can recommend somebody that. else. Um, Sense. Yeah, but we need to. So, what happens to the cap that is already merged, right? The main cap. No, but uh, if it's a, if it's a, well, he's, he can see that, right? So he can actually expand it and see the whole thing. Right. Uh, so yeah, so I think uh, he will have to uh, review it before this one becomes implementable, right? The previous mm -hmm. one, previously, it's not implementable. Right. Oh, we have to mark it as implementable before that. That's what you're saying, right? Right. We need to update this. Him to review, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I believe Jeff is busy today with a bunch of meetings, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it updated as soon as possible. I don't think we can uh, add the label just as it is, um, but that's okay. We'll first make Let the changes. See. Let me see if I can. If I, I'll check and see. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll add the label. Yeah, I'll, I'll check. Okay, sounds good. But, yeah, Thank you. Okay, you have already pinned the team, so. Yeah. 
Um, do, do you want me to send a link to this? No, no, I can find it. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, <clears throat> so that is on track and, um, uh, you know, we, we are ready to respond to any comments that come up. Um, and and I, I encourage everyone in the community to go ahead, review it. Um, so why, why is this one still like says uh, CLA? Not <laughs> Jeff should uh, have that sign, right? This is when Jeff is. Uh, so Jeff is very old school. He's uh, he's still um, get is new to Jeff. So so he I thought, he, I asked... thought he had a, was. Was that his cap or maybe? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, his yeah. Cap in there, so it should. How can he be? I thought he is also in many of the owner's files, so he can be <laughs> not familiar with Git. <laughs> uh, maybe yeah, he changed his true. email address. It could be like. No, no, that's no. So he has. That's the thing. He's new. Last time, actually, I, I helped him push really? his commits. Yeah. Um, he had a different uh, 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 ID called Yard Turkey, not Jeff oh. Vance. He has another ID. Maybe okay, so maybe that's why. Okay, so could yeah, be. yeah. So this is Jeff if Vance he, and this one. Had, if he has two email different email address, then maybe there will be some problems. So, yeah, maybe that he he probably should ask him to get this resolved with the help desk. Something I'm not sure how how to get. Yeah, Turkey's an org, not a not a user. I mean, he yeah. he. Well, yeah. the last. It's an organization. Yeah, the last PR we made. That was Turkey. Website. I mean, we start, we he had the permissions, but that was not Jeff's, um, the original cap. So that's why it went through, I guess. So. Yeah, I, I mean, like the last time it was from Yard Turkey. Yard Turkey is a part of, uh, uh, um, you know, has signed the CLA, mm -hmm. and and we made the pull request from Yard Turkey, yeah. from one org to another. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. So I'll 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 work with Jeff and make sure that this is done properly. Um, last time I had to do the same thing. It's, it's it, yeah, it's a few steps. It's not a problem. Um, yeah, it's a simple thing. I think he missed it. That's all. Um, okay, so coming back to this. Um, all right. So current priorities. Um, we're still on track. We're still it's still the same. Um, uh, but we're moving forward for sure. Um, we want to do the demo. Uh, I noticed that there are some new people here today. So I want to explain what the demo is about. Um, so we, we set a milestone for ourselves uh, that uh, once the cap was merged, once the initial uh, enhancement proposal was merged, that uh, we would, uh, the, the first milestone would be a demo of the most basic use case of Cozy uh, working in its entirety end to end. Uh, the idea behind that uh, milestone was uh, it would it would make us work on uh, all the different components of the project and also the integration. In addition to uh, just saying um, we'll do a demo of the basic uh, uh, functionality working, we also said that uh, whatever we show in the demo uh, is going to be uh, a code that has been tested, uh, that has been documented, and uh, um, you know as close to production quality as possible. Those are the words we used. Again, the idea being we set the standard for the project upfront and we also uh, make sure that uh, uh, when we show the demo and when we set the expectation that this is working, it's actually working. It's not just smoke and mirrors. So um, to that end, um, I'll quickly first go over what the basic use case is. Uh, the basic use case is uh, because you will create a bucket uh, in response to a user requesting it. Uh, it will grant access to that bucket for a workload and then provision uh, this bucket for a pod um, and, and the pod can use it and write and read data from it. So this is what we said the demo would be. Um, in terms of the progress of this, um, I'm happy to say we have, uh, uh, we've, we've tested this, uh, integrated and tested this um, and uh, for with the sample driver that we've written, um, uh, which is uh, uh, MinIO as the object storage provider, we have um, we have completed the development stage, so we have uh, those three use cases working well. Actually, um, there there is a new uh, new uh, uh, development that happened um, after we got it working. Uh, we had to make a change to the gRPC spec, 
Um, and once that change is made, we'll update the code to start using the new spec. Um, but I would say that's that's a quick step, um, and and uh, uh, it, we don't expect it to take much time. So uh, in terms of development, uh, you could say that that step is still left, but even without it, we have things working. Um, the next thing is, uh, obviously, uh, deployment should not be something only a few of us know or, or some select people who have actually done it know, uh, but deployment should work out of the box and everyone should be able to start testing it out. So uh, um, again, I'm happy to say that we have that working uh, and uh, uh, these are the four commands on the right-hand side <clears throat> um, that, that uh, uh, you need to issue to uh, deploy the entire project. Um, so you register the CRDs by, um, uh, before that, uh, all of the commands uh, have uh, the flag dash K. So kubectl create dash K, K stands for customize. So you can provide a customized template as a, as a GitHub vanity URL like this. So if there is a customization.yaml at the root of this project, then it would, it would, it'll go and pull that and, and it'll, uh, uh, you know, register and install, uh, those uh, the, the customization resources that are, that are present there. Um, and so using these four commands, you can deploy the whole project with the sample driver. Uh, we're working on a deployment doc um, that will explain how to you run your own driver um, and different architectures of running it, running in different namespaces and all that. Um, for the basic use case though, full stack deployment is in place uh, for the demo, people can try it out. Uh, in terms of testing, we have a decent amount of unit tests and we have CA in place. End-to-end uh, -end testing, we found that there is a little bit of uh, uh, waiting involved um, in, in having to provision uh, uh, resources to run the end-to-end -end tests. And also there's some uh, extra development effort required, which we think might be, uh, uh, there is more development work required there than in actually developing Cozy uh, as it is right now. So, um, you know, it, it seemed like uh, the best way to move forward here was to manually do the end-to-end -end testing um, and, and slowly work on E2E -E test as if it's another uh, development milestone because it is, uh, it, it is a quite a large effort. It's not, it's not a quick thing. Uh, that's going to involve multiple projects coming together. So, um, Final thing is documentation. Um, so we have a spec guide in place. It's the second point on the right. Uh, in terms of getting started, we have good getting started guides for uh, some of the projects. Um, and uh, Janis here is working on adding that for uh, the rest of the project. So <clears throat> on the spec repo, uh, we have a getting started guide, which uh, explains uh, what the project does a quick developer guide, some references, um, and also a link to our documentation. Um, our documentation is housed under um, the API repo. Before I go into that, I'll show you this. In the API repo, again, we have a, a, a kind of a readme landing uh, page kind of readme, uh, which again has uh, information about what the project does and uh, a quick, uh, I think we should remove this, right? because it's still alpha. Which one? This one. Right, in the, yes. In the API, this is not the spec repo, but I think here also we need to- Oh, okay, oh, this is the same, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so uh, we'll, we'll remove that because in alpha we can't enforce that and it doesn't make sense. Um, so anyway, so um, again, these are the two projects that have the getting started guide, I would say this kind of readme. And we have a, a other larger documentation effort all housed under docs folder under API. Um, it goes into why another standard and a bunch of useful links like user guide, deployment guide, how to write a driver. I believe um, how to write a driver is going to be uh, one of the most important pieces of documentation that uh, uh, we'll need in the near term. Um, and then the next one, how to write, make your application cozy compatible is going to be another key documentation um, in the long term. So um, we have people working on all of this. Uh, I believe uh, Yanis uh, has started working on the readmes for the other three projects that we have, right, Yanis? 
I have to, yeah. So I have started reviewing the other readme before, before okay. I start on writing on the, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. Uh, I think uh, the coming week it would be my first uh, contribution. I think. Well, looking forward to it. <laughs> thanks. thanks. Uh, is Tejas here? Okay, uh, so he, he was working on, um, well, fixing, changing this to the word API and also uh, the deployment guide. Um, I think he has a pull request out there, but um, he said he was working on it further. Um, yeah. Yeah, so so yeah, he, he, he's gonna talk about, he's gonna, we're gonna have a doc explaining what are the different ways to deploy. Um, uh, Tejas is an is a sysadmin. Um, he has been uh, working with customize and deploying deploying at in various scenarios at uh, Red Hat and now at his new startup. Uh, so um, you know he he understands um, the different scenarios and different uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 in the most important things that that needs to be covered from a, a admin's perspective. So so he's he's helping with this right now. Um, yeah, so that's that's where we are um, in terms of the project. Any questions so far? So, Sid, I have a question. So, for the commands with the for the customized commands that install the CRDs mm -hmm. in the beginning. So, I don't know if it's a stupid uh, question for a customized uh, noob, but it, it asks me for a username password for the for GitHub when I execute these commands. It does. Yes. So when I when I apply this, it asks for username password for my git. What if you say no? Um, uh, it says that there's there's an error. I see. Um, it shouldn't. Sorry be. if it's yeah. No, sorry if no. it's a very yeah. But I I did try the commands from cloning the repo and applying it and it works. But yeah. But out of the box, it asks for um, username password. Interesting. Probably because I have logged in um, in my GitHub environment. I never saw this. Um, this is a public repository. Um, it shouldn't. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's, I know, I know. D does your environment have access to public GitHub? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Okay, anyway, all right. Yeah. Just something no, try, that try using HTTPS here. I think mm -hmm. by default it might uh, use git at github.com. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. The SSH URL. Um, yeah, try, yeah, the, try that. Yeah, yeah, problem. With the kids, it's better, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, however, I think this is something that we need to address, though. Um, adoption has to be super simple, uh, where people can just, just you know, copy and paste, and it should just work. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I don't believe it's a lot of effort to get there from where we are right now. So, mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try different combinations and see how to how to get this working. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. So, so these are the main things I wanted to uh, discuss today. Um, and I wanted to keep it uh, focused on the on the cap. Uh, I don't have uh, any specific uh, technical discussions planned. However, uh, if you have uh, Anything we want to bring up, we can we can um, we can we can we can do that right now. Sid, one more question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for the end-to-end -end testing, uh, what frameworks are you thinking of? Because it's a it's a big problem. <laughs> the the end-to-end. -end. Yeah. Um, so Srini can talk a little bit more about it. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't dived into the details, but he has. So I let okay. him. Mm -hmm. Well, right now we are just following what uh, CSI is doing, right? I mean, Ginkgo, and we already have a framework uh, in place in Kubernetes KK repo. So, uh, what's the env test? Pardon? And env test? Uh, what was no, it for? He's talking about Jinko. Um, Jinko. Jinko. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, here, I think there's a E2. Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about this one. Mm -hmm. Right, right Shini? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Yanis, do you have any experience with end-to-end -end testing? So, I was looking at the Kube test because mm -hmm. I prefer, uh, I mean, it, it resonated a 
bit more with me to have it in, uh, you know, in uh, in Python. I, I don't know. I, I like the semantics more of this project, so I, I'm posting it there. But it seems that they're not maintaining very well. So I posted it on the on the channel. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so it it assumes that you have already a kubectl context. So basically, you need to bring up like Minikube and install mm-hmm. all these things. So mm-hmm. yeah, so this, this is the only framework that I tried with um, but with a uh, for end to end, but yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the, uh, has I, that I, has that been used by any other project? No, no. I mean, I mean any other project in the, the Kubernetes uh, ecosystem? I'm not aware. I'm not aware. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I posted it in case uh, you're interested. Uh, yeah, definitely. If it's simpler and if it hits all the use cases that we have, uh, we should definitely uh, use it. Um, yeah, ha- ha- have a look if. Yeah. Uh, I see a lot of Python in there. So. Yeah. Okay, so I want to address two things right now. Um, one is Blaine here. Hi, Blaine. Um, uh, so you asked, what is the be- bash's behavior if set dash o is run without an arg following it? Is that right? Yeah, I, I noticed that in the in the little scriptlet for installation that I saw, and I. Um, yeah, good option. Um, yeah, it's. Um, I I I found the the documentation actually, or I just opened up bash and typed it, and it it actually displays the options that are set. Mm-hmm. Um, I just didn't know if that was like a typo and was intended to set an option or not. It's supposed to be EEX. Uh, this is what we wanted to have. Exit if this matter and also print out what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Um, this is something I wrote on this on this slide. Um, this is not something that we had as a script before, but yeah. The, the writing okay. EEX, yeah. Cool, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, all right, so going to the uh, next thing. Um, so Shing, it looks like uh, uh, Tim Hawken uh, uh, responded. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed. <laughs> I know he's very busy. Uh, I just, I'm impressed because he found the time so quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's very busy. He has <laughs> yeah. a lot of people peeing him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that's what you're asking him, right? Yeah, he needed to do a review of the API, right? Because he hasn't reviewed it before. So, okay. so I should ask him to start early. <laughs> yeah. And see if he um, can say. We'll bring this to Kubernetes uh, as a part of the cozy effort. Should I link to anything else? Uh, I think you have everything. Oh, did you, you, you can maybe, I think you should probably also mention those uh, repos. Yeah, got it. Or I don't know if you, Want to show him your slides? Maybe that's easier for him to get an overview. If you have, uh, <laughs> there are, we have, I think, like four hundred slides at this point. Four <laughs> hundred? <laughs> oh no, that's too much. <laughs> we the thing the idea was we, we'll just keep um, you know. Uh, that's okay. He wow. Oh, okay, I, I thought. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I thought he only have a couple slides. Okay, no, that, that's too much. That's fine. I think just he will ask questions. I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's quick, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, just look at your cap overview and then you can ask questions. Um, yeah. Yeah, I worked with him, um, you, know, you know, it was just the two of us and we started doing the uh, cloud provider work. And back oh, then good. he was not this quick. So. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I think uh, it's good that you know we're doing this now because we have information in this spec uh, in the readme. We we talk about what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Earlier, he if he wouldn't have been able to make sense of it, so it's it's good. Um, yeah, and and um, yeah, and like you said, he'll be able to uh, look at the whole project, the whole file, right? That shouldn't be a problem, actually. Yeah, he know, he should know how to yeah. read yeah. the whole file. Yeah, you just if you just do a view, you you'll see the whole thing. But the only right. thing that you cannot, uh, I mean, I guess the only downside is because it's already merged. Yeah, uh, he can't really uh, add his comments that easily. If you want to, you know, add comments to the section that is already merged, <laughs> I think he will figure out. 
Okay, hold right. on one second. Yeah. What is what is the invalid email ad? Okay, so what so is that's the... because the I think that's the the uh, the Jeff whatever I think something's wrong with his uh, account. account. Yeah. So okay. I think the, the Git ID and the email address associated with it or something wrong. I don't know what that is. So he should get that resolved with the. The help yeah, to push to the yard turkey and then push it from there. That's the problem right now. I think we sh we can redo that, right? Um, yeah, this is important. I think this can be a great troll account in the future. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, all right, so so it's good. API review is already starting. Um, we have to uh, now uh, work towards the demo. Um, uh, before that, we have to have the spec uh, a, uh, PR merged. Um, so, Shing, we have made the updates uh, uh, based on Saad's comments. Um, um, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll, just uh, ping him. Yeah, ping him to review again. Yeah, it'll be good if you leave a review as well. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah. Uh, and and once this is merged, we'll go make the changes to the other repositories to pull this version. Uh -huh. And uh, right after that, we should be ready for the demo. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So um, yeah, we can we can end the meeting early uh, today um, because I wanted to keep it focused on the cap. Um, on Monday though, uh, we have a bunch of technical issues that uh, we want to bring up, and we'll continue from there. Okay. Are we missing anything from the uh, the new process um, for the project management? Yeah. So you, then, need, you need the we... production readiness. Have you done that? Yeah, production readiness. Yeah, you That's... should actually. Did you did you fill that section? No, we did not. Yeah, we need to. Oh no, I, I'm gonna I work with Jeff to to do that. Yeah, you should because I think they actually respond very quickly. You basically did I tell you how to do it? Just to go to that uh, production readiness uh, yeah. Slack channel. And pin those three people saying, hey, here's the cap. We are trying to go alpha. Can you review it? They are very quick. So yeah, uh, that's you need to, yeah, you just need to uh, add that section. OK, so um, did you get all of it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, OK, so this is not something that you set on uh, the pull request. That's what she's saying, right, Sing? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you, no, no, you so in your, yeah, in the pull request, you need to update your cap. And then you just go to the Slack channel and pin those people right. okay, okay. Yeah. I, I can do the ping but um jeff has to do the update and yeah he need to update the ping ping <laughs> okay. yeah yeah let's ping jeff as well uh to update this and uh right after we're done with that let's ping uh, the slack channel so so we go to the slack channel ping someone correct yeah okay okay all right um yeah i think we can figure out who are probably swing already knows so should be okay uh yeah that's it from my side all right okay i'll stop recording now